Um, Jed, five week tours back to back to back are so rare. How are the guys feeling at the end of like it's been an extremely long tour? Um, and how do you get up for one more? Um, yeah, I think, you know, we need wins. <laughs> um, and we're so close, so I think that's what's driving the boys to finish this tour off the way we want to. Um, you know, it's, it's been well documented, you know, the disappointments over the last, you know, the French week, obviously Italy is a big one, and then, and then on the weekend. But we know as a group is we're right there, um, and we're making the right steps, or we're taking the right steps, you know, to, to put in a good performance. So, you know, really, Striving for that is is what's driving us and motivating us for this week. Does it affect you guys on a personal level when so many guys are dropping out in terms of injury? Like, there's some pretty significant, at least for Tanner, significant injuries there. I don't know what his World Cup ambitions are from that, but how do you guys deal with so many like, mass injuries? Oh, mate, we're, I think I speak for the whole group, we're gutted for any guy we lose. Um, but, you know, Taniella. In particular, you, you, you know, he's had a fair run of injuries this year, um, and he's genuinely put in the hard yards to to try get himself, you know, best available and and to find that form which he's known for, um, and to see him go down the way he did on the weekend was uh, was pretty gut wrenching. But um, look, we know our medical staff here are doing everything that they can to to get the boys ready and um, yeah we've just we've just had a rough trot um, but you know as a squad we need to we need to lick our wounds and go again and because um, we got a, another big test match this weekend at, at, at Principality and um, what those injuries bring is a, is a huge amount of opportunity for, for guys coming in um, and and those guys need to take that opportunity and, and we need to get a result as a team. And you still expect to be in the back row as opposed to working as a second row this week? <laughs> Mate, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know, and the coaches know this, I'm happy to do whatever, you know, yeah. means fit to, to, to get a result. In your line at work, tell us how that process happened on the weekend. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I hear you were telling some guys that the Tars, maybe you were the backup guy. That's how it came. <laughs> it was funny how it worked because during the week we, we, we did talk about like if we lose a couple of hookers, and I was into Dan after the game. I was like, mate, my first line out throw, I nailed it, and then you sacked me at half time and put hoops there. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's been funny ones because we always seem to lose a hooker or a half back, and at Tars this year versus the Chiefs, we lost. Belly and then both our hookers and you know we were a bit thin there so we've been, we've seen that situation before but luckily you know we only had one line or two line outs when uh, Flower was off so um, there wasn't too many too many uh, mess ups there. Hey uh, Jed, um, at the end of your first test season, physically and mentally, can you just explain like how how challenging is it or do you really notice the difference? Um, getting to this stage of the year? Um, I mean, physically you do. Um, mentally, it's kind of an ongoing process. And the thing is, I've got good guys who have been through seasons like slips and hoops who I ask a lot of questions of. But yeah, this is the most rugby I've played my whole, in a season, my whole career. Mm. Um, but yeah, kind of, you, you drift in and out of your, your processes that you go through to, to get yourself mentally ready and it's just about finding, finding you know, regrounding yourself and, and going back to those processes that work so, you know, you don't slip off and, and, and fall into bad habits, which, you know, I've been, I've been guilty of in the past, in, earlier in my career and um, it's something that, you know, I now recognise and I... I, I really try to go back to that and, and you know, with moving around and going to different places, it is a challenge, but um, it's, it's something that, you know, 
really worked for me um, is, is going back to you know what's important and, and essentially all it is is working hard again, um, making sure you're not slipping into bad habits. And, and going out and having an opportunity to let your head down on like a Sunday, how important is that um, just to switch off? Uh, yeah, it's just finding those moments when to when to switch off and, and not think about rugby. Um, so when you when you are on the training paddock or in the meeting rooms or, or in the gym, you are one hundred percent on, um, and that's important after a long season uh, because if you if you're constantly thinking rugby, you're going to find yourself burnt out. Um, but yeah, taking those opportunities and really being in the moment for them is super important. And Jordy, um, what's it been like uh, this spring tour to say ones in the past, maybe even you know back in 2018? I think yeah, it was your first yeah. spring tour, maybe. Or, um, what are the differences been? Oh, uh, it's definitely um, a longer stretch of games. Obviously, you got the five games previously. It was only I think three last year and. In three in 2018, so it's definitely, uh, yeah, the Jed was saying, a longer, bigger toll on your body, but um, mentally as well. If you're, if you're on all the time, it's definitely draining, but um, making sure you're taking that time to switch off mentally is, and is good for that, mm -hmm. that uh, final few legs of the, the tour. And um, <clears throat> obviously, Hunter's early injury meant you came on pretty early, got mm -hmm. through big, big minutes. Just from a personal perspective, that must have been pleasing at least that you got through a lot of game time. Yeah, it was um, tough to come on at the expense of hunts, obviously. Um, but yeah, it felt um, good to get some more minutes in and and um, obviously a yeah, gutted result. But um, that was, um, I think it was still a good game from the team. But yeah, moving forward, like Jed said, we'd get some wins. And you got to you got to try. Um, have you got an idea of where you might be playing this weekend at all? Uh, I've got no clue. <laughs> uh, we're a bit a bit beat up, so the coach is still figuring out that one as well. So we'll um, see how the week goes and find out. Yeah, but I dare say you've been probably training everywhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, full back, like clearly you've got a couple of minutes before the head knock yeah. in Brisbane. That is is that something that you're still training like in that position at the moment and something that you do want to have a crack at at some point? Yeah, I mean, I think part of my role in this team is probably my versatility. So um, with the the members we got, it's like wherever um, we're filling in, I think we got back rowers jumping on the wings at training as well. So everyone's a bit mm. everywhere at the moment. So, um, but yeah, uh, I'm happy training wherever obviously we're. Not a hundred percent at the moment. So, what um, you talk us through the injury you had, that is sort of the niggle throughout the first few weeks. How you dealt with that? What what that was exactly? Uh, yeah, it was just a little niggle I got before I came into the camp. But um, yeah, no, I'd, um, just spent sort of a few weeks getting rid of that one, and that's all right now. So, yeah. How would you describe your test career to date? Jordy, like, are you satisfied, frustrated? Like, overall, you've had a lot of injuries and setbacks to deal with. Like, since the guy who came well, two or five years ago, four years ago, as an 18 year old, how would you describe that journey so far? Um, yeah, probably a bit of a roller coaster, a bit like Jed, you know, it's probably the, the longest stretch of footy I've had this year in terms of health wise. So, uh, it's, um, positive look at it from that perspective but um, yeah it's been it's been a lot of learnings a lot of um, a lot of time spent probably rehabbing as well but you yeah. know it's um, uh, it's good to play a bit more footy this year On reflection how do you feel you dealt with the height back in 18 to 19 when you come on, obviously you play World Cup quarter final out of nowhere. Like, how do you feel you dealt with that part at the time? And did that affect your footy at all in the years to come? Um, I don't know, I just sort of felt like it was just another sort of another game week for me. Um, I don't really 
Um, look at it different. I mean, same prep. Um, no, I don't think it changed much for my footy in the future, but um, yeah. Jordy, has there been anyone that, because you have had so many setbacks, injuries, or has, has there been anyone that's kind of been a mentor for you that we don't necessarily know about, a former player or someone else? Yeah, I spoke to a few guys, you know, uh, a few guys reached out, a few guys have, I've reached out to, so um, yeah, I've definitely tried a lot of different things. Um, yeah. Look, look, are you able to tell us anything? We know that guys <laughs> like um, Mano Tuolangi go and do all sorts of alternative kind of stuff. Is there anything in any kind of quirky at all? Uh, no, nah, nothing too quirky. No, I mean, it's a bit of luck as well, I guess, yeah. with the injuries, you know. See some guys go down with some pretty, you know, unlucky tackles or whatever, but, um, yeah. yeah. Jed, Jed, like, what would a win mean to the group to finish on a high? Like, it's been a while since a lot of these won the last test of the year, and you can probably understand why, but, but what, how significant would it be to, to finish on a high? Oh, yeah. I mean, any win at this like at this level is is super important. But it it would mean a huge amount to the group, but also you know to the coaches and and to all the staff here. Because um, as I said earlier, we, we know the work that we've been putting in. Like we we're we're genuinely trying to tick every single box to get that result. Um, so. Yeah, I, you know, it's hard to describe what it would mean because it it, it would be, um, you know, massive to get to get a result on the weekend, and we know that we'll be put in the best position to to do that from the coaching staff. It's it's now on us as players to to go deliver that whatever team we roll out, um, but. I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't go and say we're flat or anything um, because we're 100% we're determined to to finish off this year and the tour on style. It's not like we're in style. It's not like we're defeated and, and, and we're keen to get home. Boys are absolutely chewing at the bit to get out there and, and to get a result. And, and we know, you know, Wales lost to Georgia last week. Um, so they're going to be, you know, they're going to want to make amends for that as well. So we're, we're going to need to be ready. And um, I personally am looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to get out there on Saturday.